So we've done up and downs and we've done left to right. So now we can do them together using the fact that I know that I've got the uh, completing the square form and the vertex. So this is saying one to the left and two down. So this is a translation of one left, two down there. So one left and two down takes the graph, so the vertex is minus one, minus four there, I think. Oh no, do you know what? I'm reading the wrong page. Ah! It doesn't, it moves it to minus two, minus three, doesn't it? Because it was minus one, minus one. So if it's gone minus two, now it's minus two, minus three. There. So in terms of the graph, I replace x with x plus one. So it was, the graph was, was that, wasn't it? So I replace x with x plus one. And then I've got a minus two on the end as well. Let's take it two down. So that gives me a graph which is x plus two squared minus three. And if you look now, the vertex matches. So that's okay there. The question for you is one to the right and three up. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on. There. That's what I want. There. So one to the right and three up. So your graph is one right and three up. In terms of the equation, I'm replacing x with x minus 1. And then I've got a plus 3 on the end as well. And if you look, that is x squared plus 2. So that's okay, that one, that one works. Yeah. Whew. So we're building up on it now. We've done it with x squared because we can just use the vertex straight away from completing the squared. But we can kind of do a similar idea if it isn't x squared. So this one, this one for example 4, I've lost my example 4, is given that, so I've got a g of x is 1 over x. So my g of x looks like that. And it's got so g of x is 1 over x. It's got asymptotes. It ceases to exist uh, on the x-axis and on the y-axis. I almost think we should maybe add that to the graph. So let's just nip back a couple of pages. So if you look here, this has got, it ceases to exist on the x-axis and the y-axis. So it has an asymptote. Uh, x equals 0, which is the y-axis, and y equals 0, which is the x-axis. There. So we kind of want, need to think about where they go. And we kind of traditionally draw them with dotted lines on. So this one's saying, move it up 2. So my asymptote was there at y equals 0. But now it's moved up 2. So I'm going to put a dotted line on. But two, why not like that? And then the graph is there. There. So that's a translation of zero two. And I've got I'm gonna put y equals. Got one over x, but I've lifted it up by two, so I'm putting a plus two on the end there. Let's have a look at this other one then. So the minus 3 is a translation 3 to the right. Delete. There. So it's going 3 right, that one. So the asymptote, which was at x equals 0, which is the y-axis, that moves. Uh, can you see? So that should be a 3 there. So there's an asymptote there at 3. So in terms of a graph... It's y equals 1 over. So remember, with the x one, I replace x with x minus 3. 
This is traditionally quite tough to get your head around. So don't worry about it because we'll, we'll make up loads. Don't worry. Right, I'm going to stop that one there. See you later.